Ladies and gentlemen, our next guest on the program this evening is an acclaimed actuary. He is the three-time recipient of the Nobel Prize in Accounting. He is also recently engaged to be wed. Please join us in welcoming to the program the very intelligent, the lovely Dale Rather. There he is. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for being on hey, the program, thanks Dale. Thanks a lot for having me. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thanks, thanks, Luke. Thanks. Okay, you got it. Yeah, thanks. Uh, <laughs> thanks for coming in. Oh, man, it is hot. It is, it is hot. It is hot under here. Yeah, it's, it's hey, it's okay. It's uh, just the studio lights. You get nervous doing this show? Oh, uh, Because I am really nervous. Oh, it's, it's okay. I didn't sleep a <laughs> wink last night. Oh, yeah. And I was just pacing. I was thinking about what I was going to say. I was wondering what you were going to ask me. Hey, it's okay. This is a friendly environment. It seems kind of high stress to like do this on the regular, you know? We've all been there before, Dale. Just, just take a deep breath, be patient. You know, maybe it'll work out. You know, who knows? This isn't working. Patricia? <laughs> Let's, if you don't uh, show up, Dale, is that a by gun? By 4 o'clock, this guy gets it. Let's take a deep breath here. That's, this is going far right. enough with the prank, okay, Dale? All right. Is that a... What type of a gun is that? I got this from a space alien. Okay, Dale. It'll take his head clean off. Dale, put the guns so, down. Let's uh, let's just let's just be reasonable here. This is ridiculous. Get get back in the chair. Let's just keep going with the interview. I'm gonna barricade this wait, door. Wait, wait a second. Can we get security in here? Where's Chuck? Chuck is not here at the moment. Wait. He's in the up. trunk of my car. Now hold on a minute here. Now, Dale, let's not do anything to too... a bit of barricading. Don't worry, Mr. Widener, I have enough food in my backpack for a month. I came prepared. Now, we have water and we can heat things up. Um, all right, Patricia, you won't see this, see this for three weeks, but I did it all for you. You'll probably hear it on the news far before then. It's Night Access with Luke Widener and Late Access with Kyle Summers and the Novato High Band. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Night Studio. Luke Widener here. We got a great crowd in the audience tonight, huh? Yeah, I'm excited for this. <laughs> You folks watching at home. <laughs> oh boy, I was down at, uh, you folks uh, been to Vintage Oaks before, right? I was at Vintage Oaks last weekend, although it was mostly vintage poplars. And uh, <laughs> man, that place is, you know, it's a little bit of a dump, you know, run down. Uh, people are always saying it's d filthy, that Vintage Oaks is terrible. I don't really know if that's true. I was there the other weekend and I only saw three or four hookers, so. <laughs> Whoa, we got, <laughs> Whoa, we got, we got a tough crowd in here tonight. I gotta, I gotta take it easy, I guess. Uh, no, I'm just kidding, Vinda jokes is fine. But, uh, but seriously though, I was coming up from San Francisco uh, a couple days ago. Uh, now listen to this, I was coming up from San Francisco in a Greyhound bus. You people are familiar with these. Uh, pieces of innovation. I was in a Greyhound bus. It was not good. And this thing, let me tell you, it was a Greyhound bus, it was, it was, but it was a lot more like a decorative lamp. Is that, is, is that right? We, no, wait, we had a different punchline for that joke. De decorative lamp? Yeah, it seems like we were going in more of a dog pun <laughs> direction. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Bear with us here, ladies and gentlemen. We were, uh, we were doing something that's for a different show, apparently. Right. Um, oh, turn the, uh, that, one's, that one's blank. There we go. 
Some of these uh, cue cards do in fact contain monologue jokes. Here we go. Now listen to this. The Greyhound bus I was in recently had a... Uh, holy smokes, this one has small print there. That is small print. And is that a dinosaur on the cue cards? Jeez, uh, don't Relatable. worry, that's... T-Rex joke. Uh, just, uh, let's go to the next cue card. Kids like him. Uh, <laughs> we'll get this all sorted out eventually, or swept under the carpet one way or another. Now, uh, this, this is in the different language. This cue card... Is that Latvian? Is, in, is that Latvian? Is that Greek? I don't know how to say the words on that cue card. Uh, we got to sort this out, ladies and gentlemen. We were having some uh, difficult technicalities. <laughs> and this is, uh, is that a Whoa. hand puppet? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, 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 we're okay. Everything's okay on the set. <laughs> we'll be right back after this. It's getting a little rowdy. <laughs> cut to the, uh, <laughs> cut to the commercial, Dan. <laughs> Ads. Ad binds. They have me. This is an ad. Dan, I mean to talk to you about my compensation. Okay. I think I need a raise. Like maybe 10, 15, 35%. Uh-huh. See, I've been working here for almost two months. And I've been living here a lot longer than that. Almost kind of like a senior member. So, uh, you know, and before I came along, no one even knew how to, like, work the lighting rigs with, like, the safety clips. Remember that last guy almost set the place on fire? All right, first of all, technically the last guy who almost lit the place on fire was you. Remember, then you came back, you had the really weird mustache with the fake accent, started calling yourself Don Pepperoni for some reason, hoping I wouldn't notice. And then Luke felt sorry for you, so you just stuck around or whatever. Second, 10% of zero dollars is still zero dollars. So there's nowhere in the budget to make that happen. Yeah, but... And we never hired you. And you just sleep behind the supply closet or whatever. Actually, I sleep behind the servers. But you know what? I'm at wit's end with you, Dan. You either give me a raise or fire me. Okay, you're fired. You heard me, you're fired. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I thought you'd say that. It's fine. So you wanna last 10 minutes without me. All right, bye-bye. Welcome back to Night Studio, ladies and gentlemen. Our next guest on the program is a very lovely, talented barber who's been working in downtown Novato for uh, almost 40 years now. She also is an accomplished painter and a lover of the outdoors. Please join us in welcoming the very talented, the incomparable Joy Ambra. <laughs> Whoa! Hello, <laughs> I'm Joy. Thank you so much oh, for being on the program, so nice Joy. Nice of you to uh, get dressed up for the occasion. <laughs> That's right. I love your outfit. Oh. Well, I have one similar uh, at work. Good. We call, we call it a drape. That's but, great. Um, I'm sure that we're uh, all draped up here. Yes, I'm sure it'll be very nice for everyday wear. Perfect. Well, I'm going to take it easy on you. I just <laughs> want a purple or a pink afro. Oh, no problem. Okay, well, uh, you should have told me that. I would have brought my dye, but uh, okay. I, am, I am flexible. My appearance has gotten a little bit uh, biblical, I'm afraid. Oh, so uh, well, uh, we'll have to <laughs> un-Jesus you, won't we? I, I okay. think so. I think How about so. a little cold water to start that's, off with? I think that that's, ought to cool you down. Yeah, I think that's a good start. <laughs> how did you uh, how'd you get started cutting hair, Joy? 
Well, I needed a profession because I needed to pay for uh, my travels, which is really what I love to do. So I thought about it. Barbering, uh, you know, the school for, for becoming a barber is nine months. Okay. And since I didn't want to have children, I thought, well, it's about the same amount of time. <laughs> So uh, it worked out that uh, I went to school, and it was a coincidence that my father was a barber. Um, oh, really? Okay. But, uh, and I always did what he didn't want me to do. He never wanted me to become a barber because it's hard work and you're on your feet a lot. <laughs> yeah. So um, that's why I became a barber. Do you live in town here then? Uh, no, I up, don't. I live in uh, West um, Petaluma. Oh, lovely. Yeah, the yeah. country there. Yeah, it sure is. My neighbors are... Uh, cows and a donkey and uh, there are some people living there too yeah i've got i've got a donkey for a neighbor myself but uh <laughs> yeah <he's laughs> but it's a, a man right <laughs> that, he's yeah. just an ass <laughs> that's right now you're at uh yeah gosh it's lovely Sorry, out there did i steal your line no i don't think so is that <laughs> was that my line dan yeah. <laughs> you know when you were growing up in maryland were you determined to to move out here or get out of the cold or anything or i was determined to get away from maryland that's okay. one, one thing that was for sure but then i think everyone feels that way about where they grew up how about you mm. do you feel that way about nevada well i grew up in nebraska no i uh <laughs> <laughs> I got out of there i mean the climate is something that kind of uh kind of hypnotizes you here in a way you think well I got to get out of here, and then you hit, you know, 200 straight days where it's 72 degrees, and you think, I don't know if I should be getting out of here, but, uh, you know, what... Um, so you didn't answer my question. What, what can I say? I'm, I'm running for office. I'm actually practicing question <laughs> dodging. Very good. <laughs> How about Very that? Good. Touché. <laughs> well, if, if you feel the need to break into song on, <laughs> on the program, you can go right ahead. We gave, okay. uh, we gave Kyle the the night off. Oh, Kyle, so, yeah. yes, he was supposed to be here too. That's right, he's our, uh, he's, he does the music for us uh, with the Novato Orchestra. Yeah, oh, great, yeah. yes, I know Kyle. Well, I've been working, I was telling uh, one of our other guests actually, I'm working on a musical that's uh, hopefully gonna be developed into some sort of a novel and uh, a documentary. Wow, all um, those things, that's pretty, uh, Yeah. Pretty high goals there. It's it's a little bit of an am ambitious project, but it's it's uh, it's tricky because I'm trying to write it in Spanish, and I don't speak a word of Spanish. Oh well, I do. I'm, I'm fluent in Spanish. See, I could I could probably Tal vez use. yo puedo ayudarte. Uh, si quieres. Uh, the, si prefieres. The uh, not nachos. Nachos. Are you, si? ask, are you asking me? Están están comida muy bueno. ¿Qué más? <laughs> Uh, the uh, tortillas. Tortillas. Yes. The, so you speak uh, food Spanish, cerve I see. Cervezas. Because you work in a restaurant. Uh, there you go. Have you ever cut hair in any weird place? Well, when I first started my career, I loved cutting hair, and um, at every party, especially after I have too many drinks. I'd want to cut somebody's hair, and uh, <laughs> if they've had too many drinks, they'd let me. So uh, that was How do you my... think we got here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was on my motorcycle. I have a, a motorcycle. Um, going to Sacramento to get uh, an appointment to take my barber exam. And on that journey, there was, there was a lot of wind, something like today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, I had a, a smaller bike. I think it was a 350. And um, I needed some ballast, I needed some weight. So I picked up this guy hitchhiking. And um, he was on his way to Vermont, where he was from. <laughs> and I thought, well, I've always wanted to hitchhike across the country, but I didn't want to go alone. I'll go with him. <laughs> so I took him home and packed up a few things. And we set off uh, a few days later for the East Coast, where we promptly, uh, I think we were in, uh, we made it to, uh, Wisconsin, gosh, and yeah. um, Sparta, Wisconsin, and um, <laughs> we were picked up for a hitchhike on an inter interstate, and um, I ended up cutting hair in jail. Actually, <laughs> Is that it, was, right? oh, it wasn't the experience I thought. It wasn't. It was actually not so bad. It was pretty scary at first. The uh, the woman that was my cellmate 
also babysat the warden's kids. So I think I was okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was my, Shoot. one of my earlier lessons, not to listen to a man. <laughs> Yikes. This is an ad placement for off-brand orange soda. Mmm, off-brand. Kyle, what are you doing? We don't have any ads for orange off-brand soda. Uh, I don't know. I figured we could get some money with it. Oh, okay. Like, well, they, they'll pay us for this, right? I hope so. Yeah, me you too. put it together, right? We really need money. And thank you for trusting me that I can't see without uh, glasses and I'm not wearing them because I'm <laughs> going to shave you right now. Oh boy, here we go. Do you have any other uh, adventures here? I've had a lot of adventures, <laughs> but uh, I don't think it would be a good idea to talk about them oh. on this show. Oh. <laughs> Well, yeah, we're still applying for the HBO license. Yeah, and it's, let yeah, me tell I don't want to break any, uh, <laughs> yeah. any rules. So. All right, we haven't gotten it yet. Is this so the, don't uh, be scared. Is this the rich, warm lather we got here? This is the rich, warm, pretend lather. Okay. Such power I have over people. Mm -hmm. I can get them not to talk. <laughs> Even the chatty one. I can't go up because I have to be behind him and I really don't want to slit his throat because uh, <laughs> that's not what this show is. <laughs> it's not a murder mystery, is it? <laughs> uh oh, I've got enemies, Joy. <laughs> Let me tell enemies you. among us, huh? Mm -hmm. So how did you crazy guys uh, come up with this idea of interviewing us very famous people from Novato? We were talking to Fred Silverman, NBC, this was back in the early 90s. And he said, call me crazy, but I think outside of Seinfeld, the program with the highest ratings is Night Studio, <coughs> which is our program, or it was our program in the 90s. Oh, you had something like <coughs> this going? And we had to change the name. Oh, I didn't know that. To Night Access, because NBC, we had to shift it to CBS. And there was sort uh -huh. of a legal uh, mess and uh, ensuing sort of the, the fallout. Wow, and so we, you've been we, doing this we, yeah. all, all the same uh, for, people? For, for a while now. Uh -huh. And yeah, we told ourselves as soon as this show, honest to God, stopped being fun, <laughs> we'd give it like eight more years and then that's it. <laughs> I'm eager to see what we got here. It feels like a mohawk. Yeah, some, something like a mohawk, only uh, Feels with, like... with uh, less hawk and more mo. <laughs> okay, more of a hawk. More, more of the Three Stooges mo look. Right. A mirror. Uh, that's Chuck, assistant technical lead. Thanks, Chuck. And bike rider, apparently. Chuck, yeah, doesn't have a car. Oh. It's <laughs> more protection. Okay. Well, so far, so good. Yeah, what do you think? Do you think... Uh, you think, uh, I think there's, is are, there any improvements I could I could make on it? So um, not not in particular. Nope. Outside of covering up my large bald spot, which <laughs> I, I don't know if you're a magician. Oh, don't worry, it only gets worse. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Appreciate um, where you are now. Well, That's my advice to yeah, you. That is good advice. Okay. Right. We're doing fine. We we edit it and we oh, okay. we make us seem really sharp and just. <laughs> Like we've done this a million times. <laughs> I guess that's what editing is all about, huh? Yes, that's that's what Dan gets paid the big bucks for. Mm. He actually is being paid, isn't he? Well, kind of. <laughs> Getting drugs, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Night Studio Access. This has been Joy Ambra, the very talented barber. She's been at Pete's Barber Shop in downtown Novato for some time. Thank yeah, you so we, we much. We won't mention how long. <laughs> That's right. Because I don't have to count the years. Just count the memories. But just know that I knew all of you when you were young kids. And uh, glad to and see you doing something with your lives. She's, and not drug addicts like the rest of them. She's somehow survived our formative years. <laughs> Thank you so much for being Thank on you. the Are program, those Joy. Pads you have on? I know, they might be. Yeah. I've got an old, old <laughs> suit. Good, it's a good look on you. Thank you. We'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen, okay. Bye. after this. <laughs>
crazy for some food. It's like Max's, but... This was the only guy that responded to our newspaper ad. Nice. So. <clears throat> oh, oh, okay. Uh, oh. 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 Thank you. Nice to meet you. Oh. 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 Rough uh, couple of weeks, Mr. Uh... They, they call me Zeke. Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't use my real name, no. Okay, Zeke. Uh, tell us what you know about lighting. <laughs> I love lights. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Oh, I guess not much besides that, though. Uh, I do really have a lot of excitement about working here, though. <laughs> um, do you guys take subpoenas as resumes? Are you under investigation for a crime? <laughs> um, no, no. Uh, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm seeking asylum. My, my state's been overrun by fascist pigs. Uh, uh, I, I just need a place to work and to live. Uh -huh. by, by the way, if this, if this goes south, we, I'm, I may have to turn this into a hostage situation, so. Oh, ooh. Uh, great, uh, so let's talk about your qualifications. I was a, I was a state-sponsored guardian for ferrets for 17 years, though. <laughs> was that your previous job? No, no, no. Uh, I, I was an exotic dancer in the EU, actually. We had a big falling in Myanmar. Oh, wow. Before that, I sold reclaimed jewelry on the black market. Not as cool, though. <clears throat> now, Zeke, what would you say is your biggest weakness? Uh, not spiders, not spiders, not spiders. Uh, uh, Cyanide, cyanide, uh, or 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 high voltage, um, maybe. I can't. I can't stand Regis Philbin. That guy's scary. He's got great cuticles, though. Luke, um, what do you say we begin the testing? Let's go in. This guy's good. Yeah. I think we should get to uh, phase two. Yeah, get that, get that. Yeah. Singular dictator, singular dictator. <laughs> oh, now here's, here's another one, ladies and gentlemen. You heard this one? All right, so Novato Mayor Josh Friday. Josh Friday, an Elvis impersonator, six priests, and the prophet Muhammad go walking into Finnegan's. <laughs> the bartender looks up and goes, uh, uh, Zeke, what's, what's going on over there? <laughs> oh, I've never quite had a Sunday tea like that. <laughs> Are you saying that? Best he ever had. A blackberry hugging fork. Mm. Um, uh, all right, nice. <laughs> that was a good try. Um, why don't you try like sprucing the place up a little bit? Uh, well, I, 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 I already did. It's just nice. This is all this newspaper here to to sit on it, and, and and you can you can eat snacks and play with the ball. And there's water. We'll never run out of water. This is like like 15 ferrets could live here, and there'd be no problems. Hey Luke, have you seen the teleprompter? You, you mean the thinking pod? <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> it's beautiful. It really helps you get into the zone, doesn't it? Really decorated up nice, huh? Uh, that's company property, Zeke. So we're gonna have to. No, this is trending for four ninety nine on eBay right now. Five hundred bucks? No, no, no. Four ninety nine. Five dollars. Uh, it's worth it though. Uh, Luke, let's talk outside for a moment. Yeah. Trials aren't going so great. 
Yeah, but he does remind me of Chuck. Yeah, but the ferret sanctuary is a little much, though. Are we talking about Zeke? Yeah. Yeah, um, I noticed that he's really into, like, the appliances. How so? Like that? When my heart is full of ice You come whirring back to life With, with your plastic and, and your ink A fax, fax machine, machine you make me think A fax machine, you know what I mean Students of uh, Mitt University. My name is Professor Guest Lecturer Chuck, and I'm here to teach Introduction to Nutritional Science. Food. You've heard a lot about it. Most of you are familiar with it. But I'm here to tell you something. Something important. It's a social construct. Food is something that the men and women use to keep you down. A method of controlling your mind and your culture. That food, food is actually but a way to us. keep you in their little boxes, eating their little bits of food and that prevent little... you from seeing the larger world. Because the fact is, the real food groups aren't fruits and vegetables and dairy and that the nuts you find under the couch. No, no, not real. What is real is matter. Raw, unmolested, undrived, un interrupted matter. Banana Atoms. Banana. And some track plastic that that's grown out birthday cake or at Safeway. The kind of metalish that aluminum. We start to see some really strange tendencies. Rocks of the slice of pizza that was also or even the tennis ball. <laughs> it's all possible. Any questions? Good. So I want a ten thousand word essay on my desk by this afternoon written on the back of Campbell Soup labels. And I want you to attach the soup. So that's at least a good three or four dozen cans of soup for each of you. So uh, do that or you fail. <clears throat> ah, Zeke. Zeke, Zeke, Zeke. Zeke, look, you've been doing really well. But we're a little concerned. Um, if we want to make you the next Chuck, we had to do a drug test, and we noticed that the test came back negative. Whoa, 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 whoa wait. But that means I passed. That's why we're concerned. Is everything okay at home? Uh, yeah, 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 not on any drugs. No drugs, no, no drugs. Well, here's the issue. Uh, we found that it was negative, but uh, we noticed high levels of formaldehyde for some reason. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I marinate all of my meats before I eat them. Oh. oh well, uh, <laughs> I guess uh, that settles it then. Um, y you get the job. Oh, sweet swirling onion rings. Yeah. <laughs> Great. 
Yeah. Wow. My man. I'm looking yeah. forward to it. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, I hear you're looking for a writing director. Zeke? Chuck? Zeke? Chuck? Hey! hey. Chuck. Oh, oh, wow. wow! I haven't seen you since the lunch pool barbecue. That was when you tried to feed me that plastic spoon, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, you choked, man. <laughs> Figuratively, but also literally. Do you guys know each other? Uh, oh yeah, we've been liberating trash heaps for years. I, th I think I think I think we met at the the, the United Nations Dumpster, Dumpster Conference, Conference of seventy four. Hey, wait! Didn't you try to poison me? No, no, no! I I, I didn't. Um, you 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 ate a whole bag of packing peanuts. Not recommended. I like salted ones better. I was always about scouring the garbage to eat the food in the trash. Chuck. Always wanted to eat the trash itself. That's not sanitary. Teach his own. Not safe either, especially for ferrets. Well, that's great and all, but only one of you can get the job. Chuck. Zeke. Chuck! Studio, night studio, night studio, yes, night studio. We don't need Kyle. Night studio, do 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 do. Night studio, yeah. You okay. got it now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks again so much, Thank Joy. Thank you. Ah. All right, we are ready head back into the host chair from all of us at Night Studio. <laughs> gentlemen on the program. <laughs> They're in for a treat. They're in for something. <laughs>